Hey guys, I hope everyone is well. In this video, I'll be sharing three tips on how to practice and tune double stop thirds on the violin. I find that it is something that isn't talked a lot about, that perhaps many college students aren't completely sure about but may be embarrassed to ask, just like I used to be. And so they just base it on their hearing without following any clear principles. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on this topic. As with everything, there are many things to talk about practicing and teaching double stop thirds, but I'll be talking about three of the most interesting ones to me. And this is the first video that I'm releasing as part of a series of tutorial videos, so be sure to subscribe and follow my page as well as my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of them. And without further ado, let's get into it. So tip number one, minor thirds need to be tuned wider and major thirds narrower. Without getting into the science of it, we need to know that there are two main tuning systems to be familiar with as a string player. When we play a single note scale or melody, we use the Pythagorean intonation, which is built on perfect fifths. And when we tune double stops or play in a string duo or quartet, we use just intonation or what I would call pure intonation. To understand the difference between the two, let's take the example of a passage in A minor. Here we're used to have the C close to the B as a semitone when we play these as single notes. However, when we play this C as a double stop with the open E to form a major third, this does not sound completely in tune. It only sounds in tune when we play it a little higher, making the major third interval a little narrower. Let's now take the example of the C sharp in A major. Here we used to have the C sharp close to the D as a semitone. However, when we play this C sharp as a double stop with the open E to form a minor third, it does not sound in tune as well. We have to play it a little lower, making this minor third sound a little bit wider. So just remember that major thirds have to be tuned narrower and minor thirds have to be tuned wider. Tip number two is to tune to the open strings. Sometimes it can get a little confusing as to which note should be tuned lower or higher and compromises have to be made when playing with other instruments. But if it's just a passage played mostly alone, you want to go for maximum resonance of the violin. That means that the open strings of the violin are the bosses here and we need to adjust our notes according to them. If we always reference back to the open strings of the violin, we can get the maximum overtones from the violin because of sympathetic resonances. And check out my Scordatura video for more on that. And with this, the whole violin will be ringing and vibrating freely, which is what we want to sound in tune. Tip number three is to practice with rhythm and repetitions. Now that we know what to listen out for and how to tune double stop thirds, we need to practice such that we have enough time to tune and also have smooth and accurate transitions to the next double stop. To achieve this, I would recommend starting to practice with long tones, and when it is in tune, we add a repetition on the change of bow, slurring it to the next double stop, kind of like a dotted rhythm. And to develop muscle memory, we have to go back and forth every pair of adjacent double stops, paying special attention to the shape and the placement of our fingers and the distance between each finger. So those are my three tips for double stop thirds. And if you have any other interesting tips or questions, please comment down below and I look forward to hearing from you. And do be sure to like and subscribe if you found this useful. Take care and I'll see you all soon.